Here's the presentation of a WH57 lightning detector by EcoWeed, which I tested in the past stormy season. The sensor is another element of the EcoWeed weather station array, but it can work separately via the JW1000 Wi-Fi gateway. It is the size of a typical temperature sensor provided by this company. The data is sent to the ECOVID server so you can track the storm activity on your smartphone or computer. Thanks to the sensor, you will find out how many lightning bolts have occurred in an hour or a whole day. And at what distance? It is all presented graphically. You can also set an e email alarm when the number of discharges is exceeded of a given threshold or they occur below a certain distance. The only settings you need to do before inserting the batteries are the four deep switches above the battery compartment. Default for all the four switches are in down position. For the first configuration, it is recommended to set the lower outdoor option of one deep switch. Default setting is for outdoor to avoid system picks up noise and triggering false lightning even if the sensor is placed indoor. Deep switch 2 for antenna. The lower option is default setting uh, for long antenna due to the sensor placed inside the room. Do not make any change with this deep switch setting. Two other deep switches, deep switch 3, 4 for sensitivity must be configured according to the observations of the reading. If you find that the device ignores the discharges in the neighborhood, set it to the high sensitivity of signal collection. I chose high sensitivity and this is the best option in my opinion. Because in fact my sensor is sensitive enough and collected lightnings during storm weather properly as I compare readings with the blitzortung.org discharge detection map for my location. On both EcoWid consoles, the lightning strikes are shown with lightning pictogram. You can see the information when the last strike was detected, detected within a 25 mile, 40 kilometer uh, radius of my location and, and at what distance. And you can monitor number of strikes daily and they occurred on a given day. However, some users have complained that console doesn't show the closest strike on the last stormy day, but the distance of the last shot. The sensor communicates with the console up to a standard distance of 100 meters. I live in a single family detached house and I put the sensor on the wardrobe in my room on the first floor. This was enough to make it work properly and not catch false discharges. The sensor sends data to the receiver every 79 seconds, which can be seen by a short flash of the red LED. However, when it detects a striking bolt over a T-storm, a two-second continuous flash occurs. If you think the sensor picked up a lot of false lightning strikes, it uh, is too sensitive, then, then please try uh, with sensitivity mid or low. If sensor is set to high sensitivity and still has missed lightning detection, then you may try with deep switch 1 for indoor setting to make the system even with higher gain and make the system more sensitive to lightnings. According to the manufacturer's instructions, the sensor can be placed inside and outside, but to then it must be protected from water. It is best to hang it with a screw on, a, on the ba balcony or under the porch fold. 
I know some people had disruptions in the lightning reception, but in my case, after a few months of operation, I had no problem with the detector. I compared the number of discharges with the Blizzorton detection system and the measurements were similar. What I like is the ability to collect archive data on the ECOID website. Thanks to this, I can summarize, uh, summarize the storms in the summer season in one graph. The number of stormy days, the number of lightnings and therefore the activity of storms and compare the storm season with further years. In addition, there is a template for data registering by private weather station PWS dashboard that includes a module that reads the eco with format and lightnings. The residents of your area can, thanks to your station website, observe upcoming storms and their daily activity. To sum up, I am satisfied with the lightning detector and it works reliably in my conditions. You can count on it even during very active or distant storms up to 40 kilometers. I think many storm traders will be pleased with this little detector. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.